So I'm going to talk about toggle class in this tutorial. And it's a fundamental uh, function which you will probably be using a lot. It uh, works with classes rather than IDs. And generally, you don't want to try and use IDs for this. Uh, IDs are going to be used for just one area. The classes will be used for multiple uh, areas. And um, I don't think that there is a toggle ID method uh, within JavaScript. I'm sure there's workarounds. Uh, but uh, generally speaking, uh, you'll be using toggle class for this type of thing um, if you want to use multiple areas. So to achieve this, we first load up our HTML page. And uh, this page is going to load be before the jQuery runs. And we ensure that because uh, this is triggered by using an event handler. And so the event handler won't, won't take place until after the HTML loads. So we load up the paragraph, and then the second paragraph, and then we have our form. And then we have a button, and then the event handler for that is, is uh, going to be calling the function stripe. So the function stripe up here is a JavaScript function. That's, um, you notice that this is actually between our opening and closing uh, uh, script tags here. And that JavaScript function has a jQuery uh, method or function with inside of it. And so there's our jQuery right there that I'm highlighting. So let me go ahead and show the page, and we'll take a look at how that's working. Go ahead and refresh this. And nothing's been triggered yet. There's no uh, jQuery in action. But as soon as I press this button, it will call the Stripe function, which will trigger the jQuery method. And so it adds the red background and makes the text bold. So then I come back here, and let's check it out. So that's going to be p dot, uh, second, referring to, um, sorry about that. It's going to be referring to the second paragraph, uh, in this case, with the class name of second. So it actually swaps out the, the style sheet, and it changes it from referencing the second class, because I could actually have the word second right here. And let me just even show that to you. I could do second. I'll save that up. Now when I come back here, it should be uh, bold to start off with. Then when I hit Stripe, it will now have the red behind it. All right. It actually remains bold because I don't actually take that away. If I were to say font weight equals normal here, it would change that. Uh, the last thing here is to show you, I'm just going to copy this. You can do more than one CSS command there. Add more than one CSS rule in there when you do your Striped. So I'll go ahead and do font weight equals bold. And then actually, I will go ahead and just change the width. Let's uh, make it just be a width of um, 120 pixels. I'll save that up. So now when I trigger it, it's going to replace the second class, or add to the second class is probably a better way to put it. Oops, I made an error in here. Let's go see if I can find my error. Uh, striped, P striped. Let me check that out and see if that helps at all. Save up. Refresh. There we are. So it is working. I'll try one more time with the width. Let's actually do a larger number. May, that might have been part of the problem. Okay, so now we're adding three rules there. Great. Uh, 